Okay, this is the um, a quick video to sh explain how to use the com Cats Completely Raw and Proud Raw Calc Deluxe Spreadsheet. Um, before you can use it, obviously you're going to need a program to open it. Uh, I use Ubuntu, so I have LibreOffice installed on Ubuntu. You can use Microsoft Office or OpenOffice or any other a spreadsheet program that will open Microsoft XLS files. So once you've got your um, software installed and downloaded the Raw Calc Deluxe, uh, you need to launch it. Launch it. Um, when it opens up, there's some default um, recipe already set up in it. Uh, first thing we want to do is delete those. Uh, so just highlight them, press delete to get rid of them. Right, the um, the program works with either kilograms or, or pounds. Uh, as I'm in the UK, I use kilograms. If you're in the USA, you might want to switch that to pounds. Um, I'll leave it in kilograms for now. The other thing that you need to set is your um, ratio. The default ratio is 75, 15, 10. 75% meat, 15% bone, 10% organ. Um, a lot of people say that 15% bone is, is too much bone. I can assure you it isn't. Most recipes on the internet work to around 15% bone. You should aim for uh, between 10 and 20% bone. If you go above 20%, then you're running a, a real risk of constipation. If you go below 10% bone, then you run in a risk of, of a calcium deficient diet. Um, I would advise you leave it at 75, 10, at 75, 15, 10. Um, if you want, you could change it to 80, 10, 10, which is what many, many people work to. Um, for this demonstration, we're going to leave it at the, at the default. The programs um, had a little bit of a, a bodge added down this bottom corner here for, for using um, eggshells or calcium carbonate or uh, bone meal. For technical reasons, it was quite difficult to incorporate those directly into the um, database of ingredients that, that the program uses. Um, so I did a bit of a, a fiddle to get round it and basically if you're intending to use eggshell or bone meal then what you do is you start out by putting your actual bone in as 100% bone in the, in the um, ingredients. So if I select 100% bone and then we go for let's say 0.4 kilograms of bone what what the program does it'll it'll work out how much bone is in the recipe as it stands and tell you how many teaspoons of eggshell or bone meal that that amount of bone corresponds to so if you if you if you intend to use eggshell then put your bone in as as actual bone and it'll tell you here how many teaspoons to use of, of eggshell instead of that bone um, it's just a bit of a fiddle to make things easier um, when you when you do use the program you need to enter the the bone containing ingredients first because the program balances the food based on the bone content that you've added um, so if I if I add um, let's say some chicken wings, chicken wing, um, one kilogram of chicken wings, the the program then works out how much bone you've added to the recipe. That's here, 0.46 in total, 0.46 kilos. The program then works out how much meat to add to that to bring it to this ratio. Um, in this case, need to add 1.76 kilograms of meat to bring that up to the, the 75, 15. 
if I was to add just something that doesn't have bone in it, um, say chicken heart, one kilogram of chicken heart, it will just tell me I need to remove one kilogram of meat because there's no bone in the, in the recipe, zero bone, then the program says, well, in order to get to, to this ratio, you need to remove all the meat because there is no, there is no bone to, to go with it. So the first, the first thing you should add is the, is the bone-containing ingredients. Um, so with that in mind, what we'll do is run through a, a quick... Um, example of how to how to make a food so let's say we we add um, whole chicken with deboned leg and wings that's what I use I always debone the the leg and the wings of the chicken because they're a bit tough my cats will only chew the ends off um, so let's say we've got a 1.6 kilograms of chicken with deboned legs and wings that's then working out how much meat and how much bone that that ingredient contains and it's telling us that we need to add 0.51 kilograms of meat um, so if we add 0.51 kilograms um, and you add something that's got bone in it um, let's say um, chicken leg quarters then all of a sudden I need to add even more meat because when I add the chicken leg quarters I'm adding even more bone and we're getting further away from where we need to be. Um, so when it's telling you to add meat it, mean, it means boneless meat such as heart or steak. Um, as far as the program is concerned it, it knows no different between beef heart and beef steak and chicken heart and, and any, any ingredient that doesn't have bone, 100% um, meat, are all treated in exactly the same way. So if he was going to use, for instance, half beef, half beef steak and half um, chicken livers, there's no need to put the two ingredients in. They're both 100% they're both meat. You only need to put one of them in. Um, so beef, beef steak is... is is going to, to make the calculations correct. And as you can see, by putting the 0.51 kilograms of beef steak in, it's now telling me there's no change needed to the meat or bone content. Um, so already we've got 75, 15 meat to bone. Um, but it's telling us we should add 0.23 kilograms of organs. Um, again, organs is organs. When you, when you, when you add... Um, beef liver for instance here it's no meat no bone and 100% organ um, beef kidney is no meat no bone 100% organ so as far as the program is concerned beef kidney beef liver chicken liver they're all lamb's liver they're all they're all exactly the same thing they're organs um, so you don't need to put the actual organ that 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 you're putting in to the to the actual mix you just need to put any organ really um, so in this case let's just let's just put the um, 0.23 kilograms and we'll put it in as chicken liver just for for oops for um, this demonstration now the program's telling me there's no need to change the meat or bone content and there's no need to change the organ content providing at least half is liver so at least half of your your organ content needs to be liver in, in this case on this this menu it's all liver but that could be beef that could be beef kidney and it would still say it's it's okay because um, it's not checking for it being liver or kidney it's just checking for it being organs um, so that's that's got the ratios correct. Uh, it's now telling me that there's the optional ingredients of 0.16 kilograms of tinned oily fish, um, pilchards or sardines. I use pilchards in tomato sauce because my cats love them. Um, 0.16 kilograms. I think a small tin of, of pilchards is about um, 0.18 kilograms, uh, 180 grams, I think. So I would just throw a small tin in and three raw eggs. Then, then that's basically 
created your mix. That's a, a, a balanced diet. We've got eggs, which are extra vitamins and minerals. We've got tinned oily fish, which will help to balance the omega-3, omega-6. Um, we've got the meat, the, the bone and the organ that we need. Um, so that's the job done. The spreadsheet will also estimate how long this, this mix is going to last you if you put your cat's information in here. So um, if we put a couple of cats in, so we've got a six kilogram cat and um, a four kilogram cat. Um, the six kilogram cat's quite um, active and, and running about all the time. So we feed it 5% of its body weight. The four kilogram cat's quite lazy. So we only feed, it, feed that 2% of its body weight. And this tells us that, that the six kilogram cat will need 300 grams a day and the four kilogram cat will need 80 grams a day in total 0.38 kilograms per day and that mix should last us about seven days um, so that's really how 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 it works um, and we'll go through another quick example but using eggshell this time just so so you can see how the how the eggshell idea works um, so as we're going to use eggshell we need to put in to start off with the bone content so we'll put in um, 0.3 kilograms of 100% um, bone now it's telling us we need to add 1.5 kilograms of meat if you decide you want a bigger mix than than one and a half kilograms then up the bone so let's take that up to say 0.5 kilograms and now we need 2.5 <clears throat> kilograms of meat. So we'll add, we'll put in 2.5 kilograms again of any meat. It doesn't really matter any 100% meat, so beef heart, chicken heart, steak. It's all it's all the same thing as far as the the program's concerned. So we'll put that in as steak. And now it's telling us we don't need any more meat or bone, but we need 0.33 kilograms of organs. So we'll stick that in, 0.33, and we'll put that in as beef liver. And that's our mix prepared, that's, that's all we need. 0.22 kilograms of tinned oily fish, again I would throw in a, a small tin. Um, four raw eggs. As we're going to use calcium carbonate eggshell or bone meal, um, when we're making the actual mix we ignore this bone line this is just in, to, to fiddle the the program so we would we would get 2.5 kilograms of beef steak and 0.33 kilograms of <coughs> of organs and we would add to that 3.3 teaspoons of eggshell or 16.7 teaspoons of bone bone meal um, it's reasonably safe to just round these to the nearest teaspoon more or less I mean you could use, just use three teaspoons of eggshell or, or 17 teaspoons of bone meal that'd be, be near enough um, or round it to the nearest half a teaspoon if you want to be really accurate um, and then and then that's it basically so those two ingredients stick in three point three and a half teaspoons of eggshells and you've got a mix Add in the, the oily fish and the raw eggs. And again, this, this mix is going to last you about 10 days for those same two cats. Um, so that's basically how the, how the spreadsheet works. Um, it's, it's reasonably simple to use, as long as you remember that the first thing you put in has to be the ingredient that contains your bone, otherwise it just won't work. It just won't, won't do anything. And when it's telling you to add more meat, you've obviously got to realise that if you add a meat that's got bone in it, it's going to affect the entire ratio. It's, when it's telling you to add meat, what it means is actual meat, um, not meat and bone. Um, if you want to add more um, ingredients to the database, you can do that. Um, there's, there's not that many in, but you don't really need that many. Um, but if you have some specific ingredients that you want to add and you know the, the meat and bone um, percentages, then they can be added. But you'll need to contact me via the 
uh, Facebook page to get the passwords to open it up because this this page is is locked to to protect it. Um, same if you want to change the calculations page, you'll need a password to uh, to alter any of the the formula cells because they're all protected to to stop it being accidentally messed about with. Um, I've got the passwords, so if you if you need to do if you need to do any changes, just contact me for the passwords, and and I'll tell you in a in a message over Facebook how exactly you add these ingredients into the database list. Okay, so that's that's the uh, the the spreadsheet. Um, there's our group if you if you've ended up getting this from somewhere other than our facebook group um that's the facebook group um feel free to join us there um if you have any questions they can be posted there on that group and i'll answer them as soon as i can um so that's that's your uh, deluxe calculator hope it's of use to you bye bye